Hello, everyone. Mystic Virgo 4444. I appreciate you all so very much for joining me for this reading. I hope this reading resonates with you all. And we are going to get started. So what I'm going to ask the question is, what is he or she feeling for me right now? What is he or she feeling for me right now? So we're going to start shuffling here. I did shuffle off the cameras. So just to keep the noise down with my table, my tablecloth missing. I'm just going to do a little shuffling, but for the most part, I did shuffle before I turned the camera on, okay? So what is he or she feeling for me right now? What is he or she feeling for the collective right now, okay? In real time, what is he or she feeling for me right now? The devil card is the first part that came up. Okay, what is he or she feeling? Okay, there is a cups. Now they want to realize this, you all, or whoever this is, is. They're coming to a realization like, okay, this person is male and female. Whoever you're thinking about right now has realized that you were the one for them. You were, in essence, the perfect person for them. But for, for whatever reason, it ended here. At the tower court, it ended, okay? And it's like you, for the person who's watching, watched all this stuff happen before your eyes because this person... Uh, who was undecided or wasn't sure what they wanted. They were fickle. I'm getting fickle. They were fickle when it came to the relationship with you, but now they're starting to realize that they're, they're, need, they're no right now. They know that there needs to be a change in their life here with this devil card, the devil energy, but it's, it has to be some sort of balance, okay? Some sort of balance that needs to come in. What are they feeling right now, okay? The Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. What are they feeling right now? Okay, for whoever's watching, the person who you have in your mind, what are they feeling for you right now? Okay, the Emperor. The Seven of Cups and the Six of Wands. <clears throat> I'm wanting to get a clear and concise reading for whoever this resonates with. I'm going to clarify the Devil card. Clarify the devil card for whoever. Okay. The king of swords. Yep, they, they cut you. Okay. Uh, they cut you out of their their space. Okay. They cut you out of their energy. Uh, and they had to because they felt that whatever it was you were giving them was too good to be true. It, it, it was for them. It wasn't balanced. And for you, it wasn't balanced, but it wasn't balanced in certain ways. It wasn't balanced for you because they were being unfair in the situation. And it wasn't balanced for them because they thought that you deserved better. And they said, well, I can't give this person what she, what he or she needs and wants and desires. So it's not, well, I'm not going to be balanced enough. I'm never going to be balanced enough for, for, for you because they, uh, because they just didn't feel that you were good enough for them. I was probably financially. Okay. They were very, very strong. Yes. With the emperor, they knew, uh, how to stand on their own two feet. They just didn't know how to carry you. Okay. And now they're regretting it. Okay. Uh, they're looking back at, at what they've said and done to you, what they didn't do right by you, but they, now they want to offer you their two of cups. They want to come back in and tell you how they feel about you. Okay. Uh, but they're thinking that maybe you have, even though, uh, you've gone through what you've gone through, in your life with your situations with them, they feel now that you, you have more opportunities here with the seven of cups. Okay. Even though you have seven of cups, a lot of different choices or so they think, okay, they want to come in and finally offer you their, uh, their cup of love, their two cups of love here, uh, because they know that you are the one for them. Okay. And they're headed your way with the six of, I'm going to say six of chronicles. Uh, anybody to know what that is? Chronicles, maybe they're chronicling their relationship with you, but this is the six of wands. Okay. They're chronicling their relationship with you, thinking back on what you all had, what you all could have possibly shared together with this ace of cups, but they left your but they left you out in the cold. I was gonna say they left you out, they left your ass out in the cold, but that was that would have been wrong of me to say that. Uh and, and I think now is your turn to to shock their system. Now it's your turn to leave their asses out in the cold. Okay. Because a lot of you are not going to listen to this person. A lot of you are not going to uh take this person back. You may listen to them, but in the end I don't think that you will be taking this person back. Okay. Um 
because I was left out in the cold too. So yeah, you know what they say, don't get it twisted. <laughs> so, but yeah, I definitely see a, a situation to where uh, I don't read reversals, but here, uh, this could have been a good relationship for you. It could have been a situation to where you, uh, you and this person, male or female, uh, could have had a very loving and beautiful relationship that could have been um, blessed with a wedding or blessed with a higher form of commitment, but they chose to walk away. But now, with this card being in reverse, they're rethinking this because they know that you were their, their soulmate. They know that you were the one for them, and they know that they have to make a decision. But the decision they want to make... Uh, man, I know she probably got somebody else or he got somebody else. They know that you have so many more choices, so many more choices in your life, despite the fact that they left you. OK, they want to take that leap of faith. Hmm. Now they want to take that leap of faith and tell you how they feel. First, they want to take the leap of faith to figure out a way to approach you without you having to curse them out, you know, and, and try to, you know, um, remind them of, of what they left, of who they left. OK. They're, they're making more money. This was in reverse, too. Uh, they're telling you that I'm making more money. I'm, my life is better. I'm living better now. I want you to know that I'm sorry. I found, found that strength. Would you please find the strength in your heart to forgive me because we are destined to be together. I can't forget about you. You brought me some joy, peace, and happiness with the Ace of Cups that you offered me. And I was too stupid and fickle in my mind to realize who you really were in the beginning. But I see that now because the devil has them thinking right now, this change of, of, of kind of like a, a change of venue in their mind. They know that you are for them now. Okay. And they're hung up. <clears throat> they they are, have constantly been hung up in their head about the situation uh, between you and, 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 and them because they, they didn't know how to handle your uh, greatness, your power. They didn't think that they could financially take care of you. They weren't financially stable, even though they were mentally stable here in physically stable with the emperor, but they just didn't think that they were financially sound enough for you, okay? And they, they didn't want to get into a relationship with you and find that you had other people who you went to for money or other people who you went to for advice or hell, even other people you went to for sex because they felt the hell you were there. They were the emperor. They were your emperor, okay? And they just felt that that they weren't good enough for you, that they weren't, be, be, they weren't going to be able to, uh, to take this the, the long haul. They, did, they didn't realize that until now something changed about you. You probably pulled your energy away from them, which is why they're they're wanting to come forward now. But, huh, I feel this person's energy. I used to feel this person's energy. I don't feel it like that anymore. How come I don't feel her? How come I don't feel him anymore? Okay, they don't, they don't feel your strength, your uh, your uh, magnitude. They don't feel your magnetism anymore. They don't feel that, that magnet that kept pulling you two together. It stopped. OK, something about this situation with your energy stop. And this is why this devil energy is coming in. OK, but they but they have to realize they started this. They were the pilot light that lit this messed up series. OK. Hermit mode. Eight of swords. Knight of wands. And the chariot is in reverse also. So they're coming back. They're, they know, they finally realize who you are, how important you are in your relation. And they really can't wait to talk to uh, to their high priestess. They can't wait to talk to you. They're chomping at the bit. Even though they're in this hermit mode situation right now, uh, they really do want to come and talk to you because they want to talk to you before they feel that it's finally too late. And they need to come out of this, this eight of wands energy, this eight of swords energy. But no, no, nothing is holding this person in but this person. Okay, this person can do whatever it is, whenever they want. They're just cho choosing to wait, okay? And But when they start coming in, the phone calls are going to start, you all. The text messages are going to start. They're going to start leaving you, you mail, sending you, sending you mail, like postcards and different things like that. Everything to get your attention, something that, that they always had in the beginning. Right now, it's not there anymore because you decided to pull away, and now they want to talk. Now they want to tell you how they feel. Now they want to say, um, I'm sorry. I care about you. I love you. Uh, please understand and please forgive me. I just felt that I had to end what we had because I didn't think that I, I was able to take care of you. Okay. And justice card. 
okay? So justice is spoken. And justice is spoken right here. This is that esoteric justice. That esoteric justice that, that lets somebody know that you are no longer a part of their um, chemistry, that you are no longer a part of their thought process. And they feel this. They feel you pulling away. They feel that you are no longer at their beck and call when they want to pick up their phone and you or I text you or, or you pick up the phone 30 or 40 times a day. Or they haven't texted me. They haven't called me. What's wrong with my phone? Call somebody. Can you call my phone to see if it works? That kind of stuff. They don't feel this energy from you anymore. They don't feel this codependency energy from you anymore. And this is why they want to come back. Okay. They realize that now. Okay. We started off with the devil card. That, that, that by itself is a change. They want to change. They want to change in their lives. I want to take this leap of faith. I'm making more money. I want to go toward my empress. I want to go head toward my emperor. I want to meet my empress half wait. I want to meet meet my emperor halfway. Okay. They're gonna meet, they want to meet you in the middle and take you where they are right now. Okay. In the middle of traveling back to them. They want to take you, grab your hand and take you wherever it is they are at right now. Okay. And it's gonna come fast. Once they get out of this hermit energy, which is coming very, very soon, it's probably starting up like right now. Um, because this is something that they want to do. This is what they're thinking about here. Uh, thinking about um, coming towards you. They're remembering you. They're remembering your essence. They are looking at, they probably watch you too. Uh, if you, they probably see you maybe in passing or whatever, or they look at your, your uh, pictures that you've sent them before. They're remembering, okay? They are remembering you, which is what this is. They're remembering having sex with you. They probably, Mm. So I'm getting here. They they ejaculate to you. I got that, y'all. I, I I got ejac. They ejaculate to you. Literally ejaculate to you. Uh, a vice versa, women. You know how it resonates. Um, but they definitely probably ejaculate to your pictures. Ejaculate to videos you've made. Uh, very very focused on on your your sexual chemistry. Your sexual image. Your sexual chemistry that you share with this person and your imagery that your sexual imagery too they 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 think they think that you are beautiful and you will have this person tongue tied when they do try to talk to you because they want to make sure that you listen to them they want to make sure that they don't leave any stone unturned when they do come to you they want to balance it out they want to balance out this connection with you so very badly Okay. It wasn't balanced at first. Uh, it was always unbalanced, but it was unbalanced, like I said, in different ways for both of you all. It was unfairly unbalanced for you who's watching. And it for what they saw, it, for what they saw on their side, it was justifiably unbalanced to them because they felt threatened by you because they felt that they couldn't do right by you. That's why it was unbalanced with them. Okay. It was an unfair situation, but now they're calling. They want to come back and call the shots. They want to come back and balance this out, this energy out. They want to come back and let you know that I'm ready to work on this relationship. I'm ready to work on this thing. I'm also getting, right now, there's probably somebody out there who has a migraine, okay? And you have to sit in the dark because the migraine bothers you. Just a little pain on, on my left side. I'm, I'm sorry, on my right side temple area, okay? So they want to have a home. You, you have... Uh, the capacity to work with this person, have this ten of cup lifestyle, this happiness, this uh, progressive lifestyle that you all can make together. A happy home, a happy a happy home, a happy family, a happy husband. A ha all of this makes a happy wife. Okay, all of this makes a happy wife. And this is all they want from you is to tell you that they're sorry, is to tell you that they love you, is to tell you that they want back they are sorry that they cut you out of their life and they know that you have so many options here with this world card here you have so many options because you are their world you are in a world all by yourself they want to be inside your world again they know that they messed up they know that they, they screwed everything up they know that they left you standing out in the cold but they're back to tell you i'm sorry would you accept me back into your life they they want you back tenfold okay because that tower moment they, this tower moment, they're in the middle of a dark light of the soul, a tower moment right now, because they don't feel your energy anymore. You pulled away. You backed up, you pulled away, you pulled in those reins, ladies and gentlemen, and they are feeling this energy. They are feeling that you are no longer there. Your energy is no longer there. So they want to take that leap of faith and come back. They want to come back 
and shout, I love you. They want to tell you how much they care about you. They want to tell you that I want you to know that I'm coming back for my high priestess. I'm coming back for my high priest. Take it how it resonates. They're smack dab in the middle of their tower moment right now. And they don't know what else to do because they blew this. They decided to walk away because of the relationship being being uh, unjustifiably unbalanced but uh, because of them. So <clears throat> I may just call this video unjustifiably unbalanced because they made it this way. It wasn't balanced because of anything you did. It was unbalanced because they couldn't see the beauty in what they had with you to begin with. Okay. So they're juggling. I'm juggling what I'm going to say, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to present myself on this job interview that I have with the person I love. Because when you get back, uh, when you're dating somebody or you're trying to get to know somebody, it's like a job interview. And this is what they're going to do. They're going to dress up in their Sunday best <laughs> and they're going to come and they're going to try to plead their case to you all. Even if they don't dress up, but they're in their Sunday best, you all, they're going to make sure that they make the best step possible. Put the best, put one foot out in front of the other as best as they possibly could. And they're going to do their very best to shine in your honor so you can see that they mean everything they say. Okay? They're juggling in their mind and in their heart space what they're wanting to do. It's keeping them up at night here because this is what they ultimately want to do. They want you back with this, this two of cups, loving, caring energy. Uh, I'm getting a lot of reverses. And I don't normally read a lot of reverses, but... They want to come back to you and tell you that they love you and that they care about you and that you make their world complete. They want you in their future. OK, they want you in their future. They want you to be with them. They still want to be able to uh, ejaculate in front of you if possible. They want to share everything with you. Um, they want to let you know that you are amazing to them. Um, that you they took you for granted and they realize that now and it may be too late. OK, it may be too late because they see what they've done to you. They see the damage. They see the damage that they've caused you, but they still have hope that you will accept their two of cups. With all uh, hope, they want you to accept their their, uh, their two of cups because they uh, they you make their world complete. You are everything to them. The essence of the of every breath they take, this is who you are to them. They want you to know that um, you make them nervous. You make their mouth dry. Um, they don't know what to say to you because they don't, they don't know what to say to you because they don't know if you're willing, if you're going to be willing to accept their, their offer, their love offer. All they want you to do is just accept them just a little bit and just and, and you all just work on the rest because the, they feel that the rest is already there they just need to come and fix this, the shit that they've wrecked but they're wanting to know are you willing to accept whatever it is they have to offer okay because they already know that you are the one for them but they're being kept up at night because of their own thoughts and what's going on with them but they're definitely working on a comeback or they're working on a um a, a revamp. Uh, we have a lot of new shows that have started now um, that have been revamped, uh, and they're coming back so so they can reopen and revamp this beautiful relationship you all had in the past. Some may take them back, but I got a strong feeling that a lot of you are not going to take this person back because you have reached your limit. You have reached that milestone in your heart and in your your head where you're letting your head speak and not your heart. Okay. Cutting, I have the Queen of Swords and I have the King of Cups. So say so, this is you telling this dude or do that. Look, okay, we've had our time together. You here, speak your mind, say what you got to say. And he looking like, oh shit, she gonna bless me out. She getting ready to curse me out. Okay, she getting ready to stab me in my back with that sword. You know, cutting words with this person, letting this person know how you feel and what you feel. Uh, but this person still feels a connection to you. But he he's very at this point. He doesn't want for or she doesn't want for you to deny them this relationship. They don't want you to um, reject them. OK, they don't want to feel like a rejected check that's, that came back for insufficient funds. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I have a bag of a background in banking and it just feels like an insufficient funds situation right here, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is I know this is a, 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 a serious reading for you all, but, you know, 
sometimes you have to joke a little bit when 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 the time presents itself. But I definitely see this is an insufficient funds kind of situation. You want to send this check back and say this is uh, you can't cash this check, okay? Because it's been used before. <laughs> you you say I can't I can't you can't use this check before because it's been I can't cash this check because it's been used before. You can't use the same check with the same check the same routing number or the same uh on the same check. Okay, you got to switch some stuff up. It's time for you to get a new check, and a new bank account. So you all are going to get a new bank account because this bank account that you have right now has ran out of funds. Okay, and that's what's worrying the person uh, that's coming back to you. But but he sees your store ability. He sees your store power. He knows what you're capable of. He knows and she knows what they gave up. They just felt that they could not be as bright. Have, they could not shine as bright as you are because they see your bright light. But they have to realize. Just because your light shines a little brighter than yours doesn't mean that theirs can't shine as bright, just as bright. It's just probably a little bit smaller, yes, but that still doesn't mean that they can't shine just as bright as you do. They just, just chose to take the take, to take the coward's way out, okay? Insufficient funds, okay? Insufficient funds. <clears throat> yeah. So they have a, their bank account has grown. They've probably gotten more money, probably got a raise, probably got a promotion, uh, probably working a side gig, a side job, job or whatever. Probably doing some jogging too, trying to get their health and stuff back up to par. Uh, but that, since they've doing all of this stuff, they still want to take this leap of faith and come towards you and tell you that they want to try again, that, that they are, or are better financially, that they are better mentally, and they just want you to know that they want to come back, okay? And there's going to be a, a justice situation to where they finally decide to come out of their comfort zone and actually do what they said they were going to do, which is come back to you, or at the very least attempt to come back to their empress, attempt to come back to the person who they love and who they feel very, very connected to, okay? They want to come back. Okay, they're in the hermit mode right now. Okay, which is a good thing, yeah. But but they realize while they're in that hermit mode, they can't think about anything but you. How much you, the love you share with them, the love you gave them, it makes it made them float in thin air. <clears throat> but they didn't realize it. But it's too late, too little, too late for this situation. Okay, I don't see you going back. You may go back to this person, depending on how much you love them and care about them and how happy you want to be. But that doesn't mean you can't be happy by yourself until until it's time for you to meet someone else. Because I don't see you going back to this person. OK, like I said, insufficient funds. You can't run the same check on the same same account number twice. Uh -huh. Take it how it resonates. But you here, uh, the high priestess. I see you on. I see you leaving this part, leaving this energy. You have already lost, lost. You have already left, or are already in the process of leaving this union. Okay, because you already know there's something better for you on the other side of this shore. Something better for you on the other side of this shore. It's a brand new checking account that's that has brand new checks that hasn't even been written out and cashed yet. Okay, hope that makes sense to you all. I will talk to you all later. And I don't think you're taking this person back because you are headed for bigger and better people, places, events, and time zones, okay? I will talk to y'all again soon and have a good evening.